Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the three iCarsoft, the main iCarsoft tools for BMW and Mini vehicles. Uh, first of all here, we have the i910, then we have the BMM V1.0, and then the BM2. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put links to all of these products in the description and the comments below, and I'll also put our email address in there, so if you need to get in touch with us, uh, perhaps you have a question that I don't actually cover in this video, then please contact us via that email and we'll be able to answer your questions through that means. Uh, so first of all, um, we've got the iCarsoft i90 kit. Now this is going to cover pretty much all BMWs on the market at this moment. Um, what this will do is diagnose and reset uh, the main systems, the fault codes, the warning lights for, as I say, the main systems, so you're looking at the engine, the airbags, the ABS, DSC, traction, uh, transmission and other systems like air conditioning, um, parking sensors as well. So that's the i910 kit, plug straight into the diagnostic port and the screen will light up immediately. Excellent tool. And moving on to the iCarsoft BMM V1.0, so it's a version 1.0. Uh, this is a new generation. This basically does everything that this kit does, but it additionally covers oil service resets as well. So if you've got the little maintenance or the little uh, oil light uh, showing up saying that an oil service is due, this kit will allow you to reset the oil service as well as do all of the other systems that this kit does as well. Okay, so moving on to the BMM2 kit. Well again, this kit here will do everything that these two kits will do. Um, but this covers a few additional systems as well. So yes, it covers your engine, ABS, airbags, transmission, and all your systems like that. It covers the oil service, the maintenance reset. It also does DPF reset, so diesel particulate filter reset and forced regeneration. It will also do electronic parking brakes, so uh, it will read and reset fault codes within that. It will also open and close the calibers on applicable vehicles. Uh, that's for removing and inserting new brake pads and it will also do steering angle sensor as well so if you've got a, a steering angle sensor fault it will allow you to diagnose and reset that uh, which kit is going to be best for your needs well it all depends on you individually and it all depends on your specific circumstances uh, so if you've only got say for example an SRS airbag light that you need to reset maybe one of these two kits would be the best uh, if you need to do a DPF or steering angle sensor, the BMM kit would be uh, so the BM2 kit would be best for your needs. Um, but if you have a question about these products that I haven't covered in this video, um, I'll put the email address below. Like I say, please contact us through that email address. I'll also put the links to these three kits in the comments and in the description below, so you can have a, a closer look at the kits, see some videos of them, see some extra images as well. Uh, possibly help you make up your mind as to which tool is best for yourself. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and I hope this helps.